did was the hug, snap, tap, drill. We're first going to start with a hug. What does that mean? This means I get a bear hug with my hands locked. The game is we're both in our stance, all right? A good stance means I'm kind of low enough to touch the mat, uh, at least momentarily for a good level change. I don't want to be too high because, again, this guy can just grab my legs. And then, again, if I'm way too low, he can grab my neck, right? So this is not good in the wrestling or jujitsu sense, okay? So we just want to be able to do this, and now we're, we're, I kind of match levels. So we're doing the hug drill. My goal is to get my hands locked and my elbows tight behind my opponent. Get in your stance, come in, get your hands locked, elbows behind the hook. That's his job. Now how do I stop that? My elbows are tight, I'm fighting. That's a lot of hand fighting with wrestling in the game. So your goal is to keep your elbows tight while simultaneously trying to fight in and get your hands locked. If we have elbow, if there's a lot of uh, space between our elbows and our ribs, the elbow to rib connection, it's a big thing in wrestling and jujitsu. I get weaker, right? It means there's a lot, there's a lot of opportunity here for him to get underhooks, which is funny enough to take down what we're gonna talk about a lot today. So a big focus more hand fighting that we wanna keep our elbows in as much as we can. So it's a hug, snap, tap drill, which means the next drill is a snap. My goal is I get a point every time I get both of my partner's hands to the mat. So just get in a stance. If I can snap him and both his hands go to the mat, that's the point. Partners, please try not to be a fish. When I snap you, just go to your stomach. Just be a fish. Go to your stomach. That sucks. <laughs> be an athlete, right? Like, if you let yourself get snapped to your stomach, you should... All right, I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> but, all right. Let's be athletic. If you feel yourself being snapped, get to your, like, go to your hands because, and, and a good wrestler, what we're always taught is when we're snapped, we need to get up and move. For example, if more Kaza snaps me, move, I'm up, I'm up, and I should be able to move and I should be wrestling again, okay? So this drill is for both guys. I'm trying to snap my partner's hands to the mat. You don't have to be spazzing fast, but just here, try to start to circle up. Okay, we're, we're recovering. Same thing, he snaps me. Boom, I'm trying to circle and get up. I don't want to stay still in the front headlock. The longer we stay in one spot, the easier it is for this guy to score. If this guy's a good wrestler, or you know, he's at least aware, whenever his legs get touched, he's gonna be, he's gonna be like, there's danger here. If this guy doesn't move his leg right, I just grab it. Start getting a little bit better at wrestling, you learn how to do these things called fakes, okay? So a fake will essentially be, I think he steps back, boom, I shoot my actual shot. A good drill to start to play with the habit both offensively and defensively is the tap drill. We're both in our stance. If he tries to tap my leg, I'm defending, okay? Uh, when you defend, just my advice, I want you guys to practice putting your hands down and circling. So tap, my hands are gonna go down and I'm circling to an angle. So even without a partner, if this guy tap my leg, I don't wanna just go straight down, okay? I wanna kinda use that, boom. I'm moving, all right? He taps my leg, I'm moving. So again, with the partner, he taps my leg, I'm moving, all right? I'm creating a circle, I'm being athletic. The goal in this game is to not let your partner tap your leg. But now we're gonna do all three games together, okay? So I have the opportunity to get a hug, I have the opportunity to tap, and I have the opportunity to get a snap. So now I'm just gonna simply combine a couple of these, going really slowly, based on his reaction. This is kind of when you watch good wrestling, you kind of see people doing this. So getting your stance, sometimes when I when I uh, when I tap behind his knee, his leg goes back, right? Pause. There, there's a lot of weight, now it's easy to snap, right? Now we just find our tap and our snap. Sometimes when I go to snap, this guy will start to posture up. So I snap, he postures up, boom, boom. Now it's easy to get our hug. And vice versa, any combination. So this game, I'm trying to combine all of these. I'm trying to tap, I'm trying to snap, he comes up. Tap, hug, boom, move. This is hand fighting, right? I'm doing, these are like the three main things. I want to snap them. I want to get a bear hug or an underhook. I want to fake the knee, all right? And I want to combine those because a good wrestler is a guy that makes his opponent reactive. The whole time I have them moving, I have them trying to get himself in balance and have them defending. If you're not doing these three things constantly in a wrestling match against, or a jiu-jitsu match against a guy who actually has good takedown skills, you're most likely never going to open up a takedown.